We are halfway through the year, so it's about time we do a leaks update with Marvel Legends. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host, Dakota, here with my co-host, Jordan. And it's been quite a while now since we've gotten our leaks for Rectangular and a little bit of displaying model behavior as well this year. Uh, and I think it's time we kind of see what's been released and what's still to come because a large chunk of the list has already been revealed by Hasbro, but there are still some that we have not seen. So I think let's first recap what we have seen so far this year. And some of these won't be like, I'll just recap everything that they're, they've got coming. Some weren't leaks and some were, so we'll kind of cover that as we go. Uh, Deadpool on the moped and Deadpool retro got re-released. We got the Daredevil and Hydra Man, which that seems like that was more than this year ago, but I guess not. Uh, really? VHS, Doctor Strange and Morbius, oh, okay. apparently, according to my list here. Um, <laughs> What um, Retro Prowler, that was leaked, I believe. Retro Carnage was also leaked. We've seen those. Mm -hmm. uh, those have both been up for pre-order. Fantastic Four, Wolverine, and Spider-Man, both leaked, both up for pre-order. Maybe I'll eventually get those. I don't have them on pre-order yet. Hydra Cap and the new Sam Wilson Cap. I think both of those were leaked, mm -hmm. and both are for pre-order. I don't think they're out yet. I don't know, I've seen a few people with them, but maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. We have seen mm -hmm. at least the Sam cap I've seen. Uh, yeah. We had Baron, Daddy Zemo, and Arnim Zola. <laughs> I don't think that was leaked, but it's out of <laughs> hand. Uh, did you get that one, Jordan? I did, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. We both have that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was also the Shield 3-pack with Nick Fury, Two Heads, Dum Dum Dugan and Sharon Carter that was announced and it's out in hand now. I have that. The full wave of the Zabu build a figure wave. We got Red Widow, Icarus, which was leaked by uh, displaying model behaviors. We also got Black Winter Thor, which I believe was also leaked by displaying model behaviors. He had said that it was going to be Harold Thor, but mm -hmm. blue, I think. So this was just kind of that, you know, switch up. All right. Not nearly as much reuse as I was expecting. Not the character mm -hmm. I was expecting either, but still cool one. I got that one. Superior Iron Man, Wolf Spain, Cable, and Kazar. And I believe Kazar was also leaked. We also got the Astonishing Wolverine, Superior Spider Man, Ms. Marvel Warbird, Scar, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage 2 pack, Ghost mm -hmm. Rider, um, the Danny Ketch version. And then around that same time was when um, Amazon kind of leaked Hulkbuster and Odin, which Rectangular had said that Odin was going to be coming in a two-pack, right? Or no? No, he didn't say that. Um, mm. People were speculating that because yeah, might have been he had said that the, yeah, the Cabal was supposed to be like a four-pack or something, um, but it ended up being Doctor Doom, Iron Patriot, and... Taskmaster supposed to have Loki in there. And that's where people were thinking that Loki was going to come with Odin, but that was not mm. the case. We have not seen Loki yet. So mm. spoiler to those that are still to come. And then getting into more recent reveals, we had the new movie carnage, which I think covers both of our bases for the leaks on carnage, which is a little unfortunate. I was hoping for more of that more modern carnage with the like night look. Mm, that'd have been cool. Don't think that's no, what we both wanted that. We got the retro Venom. Uh, that's still not up for pre-order, but it's coming soon. We got the Man Thing from Werewolf by Night. The Venom, another re-release of that movie Venom, but now it's from the second movie to go with your movie Carnage. Professor X, the space retro card one. It's the one I was thinking it was. A lot of people were expecting the uh, jumpsuit for Savage Land. Not the case. We got Deluxe Phoenix. Strange Tales Wave. It's a little bit more... I don't think this really has anything to do with Strange Tales, really, but it was <laughs> Brother slash Dr. Voodoo, Dracula, Weapon of Vengeance, Wolverine, Bloodstorm, Lilith, Damien Hellstrom, Moon Knight, and then the build-a-figure is Blackheart, and then the uh, two-pack 
that was leaked to be Mystique and Destiny ended up being Rogue and Destiny. Mm -hmm. And then we have still two teases that we don't know yet. There's the Rock, and then there's the Blaster, which has kind of already been cracked as Kang's Blaster. Mm -hmm. That's everything that's come out. And we don't have a lot of leaks left, but what we still haven't seen yet, and I think this is probably going to be, we'll start off with what I think is going to be your favorite, is mm -hmm. the Secret Wars. Supposed to be six figures in the wave. Probably a yes. retro card homage to the old stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to see our predictions of that, if I'm not mistaken, Dakota, they can go back and check that out. Another retro card that we're still supposed to be getting is Quicksilver. We don't know whether it's blue or green. I think most people probably want the green to go with their brotherhood. Kind of would make sense with Destiny coming out. I'm going to say we blue. We still got the two pack. Oh, you're going to say blue? All right. We'll see. I bet you five bucks it's green. All right. Folks, your witness. <laughs> <laughs> um, crossbones and Constrictor two pack still to come. I wonder because Constrictor was part of the Secret Wars, but I don't think Crossbones was, right? I don't think so. I'd have to brush up. Okay, so, that probably, I don't think so. probably doesn't have anything to do with Secret Wars. Um, mm -hmm. We are going to be getting a new Venom pool, probably similar to how Man Thing was released, just the deluxe single packed Venom pool. I'm pretty excited about that. I sold off my other Venom pool, so really hoping that leak is true uh, because I think that Venom pool is an excellent figure. I don't know if you're mm -hmm. too uh, excited for that one or not, Jordan. I'm not, but I've had it, and it's a well-made figure. So, I mean, if if that tickles your fancy, it's it's definitely substantial. <laughs> You're trying to tell me that if a forty dollar deluxe Venom pool comes out, you're not going to go buy that. I, I mean, I never really. I don't know, man. Even when I had, come on, dude, don't do this to me. Jordan, you don't need to know the character. <laughs> it just looks awesome. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're also supposed to be getting a Deadpool three wave. I would assume mm -hmm. that's probably going to be a part of their next uh, live stream they do, maybe around San Diego Comic Con because that's mm -hmm. when the movie's coming out. So probably not too much longer to wait for that. It's supposed to be a deluxe Colossus in that same, I don't know whether it's from Deadpool 3 or Deadpool 2, but Colossus from those movies. Uh, we're also supposed to be getting another deluxe MCU figure. Rectangular didn't know which exactly one it was. Uh, I think he was speculating maybe either kind of a re-release of that Falcon Cap Build-A-Figure, just probably, you know, different costume slightly, um, or possibly a Red Hulk MCU. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we've also got, well, I guess, is okay, I don't know if this one is still a leak to come, or maybe these are the movie figures, but there's the leak of the Venom and Carnage Deluxe Pack. Mm. Do you think that means the movie That might have been in reference to the two Let There Be Carnage figures, because the Carnage mm. was Deluxe, Venom is not, but he's still mm -hmm. from that. I have to imagine okay. it'd be that. I mean, if they're doing a comic one, that'd be sweet. And then you can maybe get, oh, if it's a deluxe pack, it could be your Night Carnage and your souped up Venom with the Mjolnir Silver Surfer weapon. You may have just I come hope. up with this to make us all hope it's going to happen, Dakota. <laughs> I think uh, but so. I hope it does happen because that would be pretty cool. That could have happened for sure. Um, we've also got the... Two classic comic book waves. We already had one was the Zabu build a figure wave, and then we have another one. So that's not including the Strange Tales wave because that was a separate leak. Mm -hmm. But there should be one more classic comic book wave coming this year. Not really any details on that, but they've been doing a really good job with these build a figure waves, and I'm pretty excited to see what that one is. Um, there's also supposed to be kind of that one to one full scale life size prop of a Green Goblin pumpkin bomb. Hmm. From the MC from the movies, did we think? Oh, I don't know. Like from the... I feel like I would eh. How much is that gonna cost? Why would who was gonna buy that? I mean, who would buy just a regular looking pumpkin bomb? I feel like that's <laughs> even that's lamer. True. It's just it's I just feel like I'd rather have the comic pumpkin. version. I guess, but at that point yeah, just, you could have it like, like green smoky light up and I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I I think a movie All would right, be cooler, but all right. Well, you know, <laughs> well, you're on. <laughs> I don't think either one of these, I don't think either one of these, anybody's going to be buying. So yeah, no, we probably yet. don't have to worry about it too hard. <laughs> That's all right. Um, there's also supposed to be another across the spider verse wave coming. That's mm -hmm. 
it says November. I can't remember if he was saying that this is supposed to be announced around November or if it's supposed to be released around November. I think released around November. I like predict a shipping. Release. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that makes me think we should be getting that reveal coming up pretty shortly too, because a lot mm-hmm. of the stuff that they've been showing off, like the um, 85th anniversaries have all been for, you know, like September, October next would be November. So that should be that spider verse wave. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we've also got a brave new world wave coming and that's supposed to be shipping around January. When does that movie come out? I believe next summer, maybe May. No, maybe it is Oof. in February. It might be February. It's kind of weirdly okay. slated. I think for it was supposed to be this summer and they switched it to February, which mm. to me is strange time to put out a Captain America movie. But true. I guess they got Fantastic Four next summer, so maybe they didn't want to compete with that. Mm. But yeah. Yeah. Probably not trying to compete with Deadpool either. But yeah, that's well, I don't know. I, I wonder if they would try to push this back then, because if this wave is supposed to be shipping in January, if they could just hold off another month, then it's around the same time as the movie. Yeah. I don't know. But a lot of the merchandise for this movie has already been coming out. Like I've got a Red Hulk little plushy thing from McDonald's Happy Meal. Right. I've had that for two months probably. So Yeah. <laughs> Come a on. unfortunate there with the timing, but you know. What can you do? We're not running the MCU. If we were... Maybe this wouldn't happen. Uh, we're also supposed to be getting a Thunderbolts wave. This one says shipping in February, which seems like that can't be true if the Brave New World is coming. That means Thunderbolts must be pushed off to who knows when. Do mm-hmm. you know when? The movie? Uh, I think yeah. it's later next year. So, like, isn't it? I don't think it's... Yeah, don't it's know. not this year. There's the only MCU movie this year is Deadpool right. Wolverine. So I'm pretty sure Thunderbolts is, like, next fallish 2025 yeah that is rough i know we're getting movie or we're we're getting movie figures a year ahead of time that's not good shan chi i I guess you could yeah with these i guess if you but then did they choose the figures from that are already out like you know you could get ghost and whoever's going to be on the team probably yelena belova um but it's like you kind of know all the characters already so but at the same time who's really trying to find the u.s or well, yeah u.s agent or captain soviet whatever his name is I don't even, winter guard i don't know whatever <laughs> nobody wants those it's gonna be a rough one captain i don't know soviet. how they're gonna roll that one out the red guardian <laughs> dude but captain soviet is a better name for him actually that would have been funny if they named him that <laughs> we're just gonna start our own uh, spin-off comic of spoofing these guys right um and then last there's supposed to be three deluxe figures i don't know if they're supposed to be movie related or what mm-hmm. uh i think we've gotten Could one the, of those uh, have been man thing the... that wasn't t- was that leaked or no mm, yeah uh no man thing was leaked separately oh okay well, like that mind. was we knew that he was coming himself um okay so yeah that kind of mm. makes me think that the uh the meat and the potatoes of the leaks have already been shown and we kind of mm-hmm. know like i said i'm excited to see what the other classic comic book wave is but otherwise I guess Quicksilver. Uh, Secret Wars is going to be a big one. Secret Wars. People come on, like man. That. That'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, I, uh, we're, and we're biased. We like the comics a little bit more. I'm going to buy 15 figures. pumpkin bomb replicas. You know that. <laughs> I want them lining the all my shelves. <laughs> all pumpkin bombs. <laughs> you know, you all know what to get Jordan for Christmas now. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it seems like a couple question marks. A lot of it filled in mm-hmm. pretty well. There's some things that could be speculated on. Um, mm-hmm. Could be interesting to do. Uh, <laughs> as much as I love speculating with you, Dakota. So, um, but yeah, I agree. It seems like the the heavy, heavy hitters we've seen. But right. some heavy hitters we've seen, I must say. Mm-hmm. So I think this is one of the first times... Well, the first times we haven't been doing this that long, but um, usually I, I have to go back and look, but I think rectangular's leaks are usually spot on. Mm-hmm. So far this year, he's gotten two wrong um, <laughs> or, you know, like slightly wrong, like one, you know, destiny and mystique didn't happen. It's destiny and rogue. Some people will say, oh, I bet Hasbro just like did this to like 
flip the script. Spite him? (laughs) Right, yeah. I don't think he's uh, quite... I think they're very annoyed with him, but I think Mm -hmm. it's just like, you know, you can't can't get 100% of the things right all the time. It's okay to have a few wrong. Um, The Cabal four-pack, I'm super happy that that ended up being a three-pack because then it's a little Mm -hmm. bit cheaper more in the budget, and I didn't really want a Loki anyway, I don't think. So Mm -hmm. I was happy there. Um, but you know, I'm still going to always take the, uh, rectangular leaks as, you know, pretty solid and do my, uh, budgeting according to those. So that covers everything that's coming out from Marvel legends and everything that we still believe to be coming out from Marvel legends. Let us know down in the comments. What are you most excited for to see revealed? Make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing and until next time, stay strong.